Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Unboxing with Marty. So in this video, what we're going to do is, well, let's talk about this. You got one of these. Uh, you got an external uh, drive enclosure. You can see it's clear, so there's nothing inside of it. You can see that. And uh, I have a uh, an unused, it's still in original package, uh, SSD. You can see it. I'm going to toss it up here in a picture so you can take a look at it. And so, for example, that's a brand new drive. It's never been used before. I'm going to place it inside of this uh, enclosure. And when I plug it into uh, the computer, nothing's going to happen. And that's because I have to initialize it and then I'm going to format it. You might be asking, well, should I back up the data that I have on this drive? Well, that is a good question. But remember, in this project, we are going to be using a brand new drive right out of the uh, package. And uh, in order to use it, we have to initialize it and we will have to format it. But whenever you are considering formatting a drive, you do need to think about if it's a drive you used in the past, there might be data on you want to save. So before you format any drive, ask yourself the question, is there anything I need to back up? And in this case, the answer is no. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are. So first, what I want to do is I want to show you what you should see I'm going to be taking an external SSD. I'm going to plug it in, and this is what you hope to see with an external SSD or any kind of external drive. You can hear it uh, chime, and in a moment, uh, there you go. You got the little pop up there. You can see over there in the bottom right that uh, the disk was recognized. Let's take it a little bit further. We're going to right click here, and then we're going to go up to disk management. And here we're going to see the drive itself. Now, things to take a look at here is, let's expand this a bit. So you've got two drives here. This is the primary drive. And this right here is the external drive. Notice both of these are labeled as blue. That's a good thing. So now let's uh, close this out. Let's uh, eject the uh, drive. And uh, now let's plug in next the... Uh, a drive that has not been initialized. I took this uh, brand new SSD, I uh, took it out of the package, I installed it in that very same uh, external uh, enclosure. So let's plug it in and let's see what happens next. Well, you heard the chime there, but we're not seeing the pop-up on the lower right, are we? And that's because it's not initialized, it's not being recognized. So let's take a look. We're going to, you know, just for fun, let's Right click on the File Explorer and uh, left click on File Explorer. And we're just going to take a look at this PC. So right here, we can see the primary drive, but we don't see that secondary drive. And what we're going to do is we're going to take care of that. So go down here and uh, right here on the uh, start icon, you're going to right click. Let's go up to Let's go to disk management. We're going to left click. And it's going to pop up right there. Oh, and look at that. Already the initialize uh, disk uh, screen pops up. It says you must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. We can do that. But let's just say, whoops, what if this uh, little screen here doesn't pop up? How do we get around that? I'll tell you what. Here's what you do. Uh, you go down here. See right here where you got the disk one and it's unknown. It says down here, not initialized. All right. Like what I just did there is I right clicked. I'm going to left click. And again, we're going to bring up the uh, initialized disk screen. And what we're going to do is just one more time read through it. It says you must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. I'm going to go with the defaults here. So let's move forward. We're going to hit that point of no return. We're going to hit the OK button. Now look, that's uh, down here. This part now reads online. So let's go here over the white. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to again right click. And we're going to create a new simple volume. Just read through this. Uh, welcome to the new simple volume wizard. This wizard helps you create a simple volume on a disk. A simple volume can only be on a single disk. To continue, click Next. So let's do that. Uh, here, I'm going to just stay with the default settings. And I'm going to go ahead and click Next again. And it's going to assign a drive letter. Again, I'm going to go with the defaults. 
So I'm going to go ahead and carry through with that. Like I said, I'm going to go with defaults. Hit next. And again, format the partition uh, to store data on this partition. You must format it first. Again, I'm going to go through the defaults here and let's move on. And completing the new simple volume wizard. And you have successfully completed the new simple volume wizard. Click on finish. Notice it's now blue. It's no longer black. Nice, right? Oh, and look at that down in the uh, lower right. You got that little pop up. And just to have a little more fun, we're going to go down here. Right click on the uh, file explorer. Left click on file explorer. And let's see how many drives we see now. Go to this PC and look at that. We've got a brand new drive and there it is showing up right there. We're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy this video and the videos on this channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe and subscribes are helping this channel grow. So I do appreciate it. One, one more thing before I go, I'm just going to go ahead and eject the uh, external disk safely just to be thorough here. And there we are. It's ready to, I'm ready to remove the disk. So again, thank you for watching. I hope this video was a benefit to you.